Oh, wait, wait, wait a second yes. here. You'll wake your husband up for you to play Minecraft. Well, that's... But you won't wake him up if we're going to play Magic <laughs> and record a Let's Play for it. Wow. Put you in your place, didn't it? Please, for the love of God, tell me you're trolling me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stand down! Fly, cat! I'll speak on this, did you? Dylan. Chisty, you're so cute. Love my little pony. You probably like to go. Today. Fuck it! Call it a night! Welcome to this week's episode of uh, the JFI Podcast, people. Hello. Number 13. Hi. Wait, we're on what now? <laughs> okay. We're on 13. I thought we were on 14 for some reason. We hit the teenage Woo-hoo! years. Yeah. Three. We, we, we would have uh, episode 13 last week, but uh, I was sick and Nightmare dropped the ball. And I went to yes. go see The Dark Knight. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Jason went that to go too. have a social life. Yeah. 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 But it, it's okay. <laughs> we're back this week. Let the fun begin. Crisis or... averted. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm your host, I'm Mary, joined by, uh, you know, Kissy Nocturne. What's up, people? Meow, meow. And the other one. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can just quit oh anytime God. I want. Fuck you. Yo, fuck you. Fuck you! Jason and Guys, <laughs> just fuck it. <laughs> See, the uh, more I think about our show, the more I'm just like, what is it? Because I I really get a very clear sexual connotation to our show. So I'm wondering what it is that we're fucking. I don't know. I asked Night Mario that a while back, and the answer I got was life. 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 Fuck life. Fuck life. Fuck life yeah, guys. fuck life. I'm actually okay with that. If life there was a go. person, I'd beat the shit out of it. Oh, hey. Spousal abuse is not cool. It's not spousal abuse, it's life. It deserves it. Okay. Life would come and hand me lemons and I'd beat the shit out of it. I don't want your damn lemons. I'll burn down your house with lemons. With a combustible lemon! Which kind of fits appropriately with our intro who had the Still Alive track going in the background. Yes. Oh, it is true. That was... Made by uh, King Fire Demon on uh, Roosterteeth.com. And it was titled Second Worst Intro Ever. What was our first worst intro? That was his. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. I, I, I'm Fucking not gonna, numbering these. I'm not going to cast that... my vote for what I think the worst intro is. Uh, first <laughs> intro was definitely the one me and Rob made first episode. No. No. <laughs> oh, Jason's heard every intro we've gotten so far, I think. Yeah. We're that. we're down to like four intros, so please, people, uh, send us some more. I'm sorry, I can't send you the episode files. You got to get the uh, audio yourselves. It's not that sorry. hard to pull audio off YouTube, guys. It's not. Just like Google it. How do I pull audio off the YouTubes? How do I hijack the YouTubes? Yeah, how do I hijack? How do I download the YouTubes? It's not yeah. that hard. But uh, I I plan we'll get on iTunes Google? eventually. Which speaking of iTunes, uh, I need to point out that our name on iTunes is going to be different than what it is on the YouTube channel. It's just going to be JFI Podcast. Yeah, it has to just be JFI Podcast because apparently iTunes has a censor and they don't allow just fuck to be in any title for any podcast. I mean, song titles, yeah, they'll let you get away with it, but I was doing we're, some reading because I'm we're a working re- on we're a, a weekly song. podcast. That's what we need to be, is a weekly song called Just Fuck It. And yeah. we just put, like, part 18. <laughs> and we're gonna just sing a verse. Hey, guys, check this like out. These guys part 18 of the fucking... This is the part in the Kama Sutra that you can't read. Okay, podcast! Hey, podcast time. <laughs> hey, Bill, check this out. These guys keep sending hour-long songs. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is, man. What? Let's yeah, see how he- they start. It's the part about the Kama Sutra... That you can't read. Oh, that's okay, man. We're gonna let it pass. It's a song. It sucks, but it's a song. It's a song. <laughs> For some reason, they're from Jersey. I don't know why, but come on. <laughs> Steve Jobs, you give us a job. We enjoy it. Hey. Hey. Oh. Stop us from beating into some gooks' faces, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a bunch of crazy fucks. Yeah, I'm. Oh, God. 
Oh, I'm right up there on that crazy scale. I love how we call our fans the, the fucks, fuck. and we are the fuckers. It's well, just... look at these fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. But, uh, yeah, we're averaging now about 30 to 40 views per week. I'm so proud of that. What? Us. What? We famous. We famous. Get we there. done. We just, we I'm gonna go get my just... dick sucked later. We might as well shoot ourselves now. We're not getting any bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> 30 now, to 40 a week. By God, if we had a penny for every time somebody listened to us, we'd, we'd be have, a... We'd have a dollar. We'd, we'd have, have a... We'd be able machine. to afford the dollar menu in a month and a half for all of us. <laughs> be we'd be able to go to the awesome. vending machine in about three weeks. Yeah, buddy. And get a soda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most delicious soda ever. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm sitting at a table and I just hit it and I'm like, I'm banging a table. Oh god, I feel like rooster teeth now. <laughs> hey, no banging the table. <laughs> no banging the table. No banging the table. Well, bam, table. Yes. Joel, god damn it! Yeah, I, I get to record out in the living room because I'm dog sitting today. So if you guys hear barking, well, hopefully I can edit it out. Hopefully. Oh, speaking of uh, rooster teeth, I saw this tweet that uh, Count3D did. It was uh, my little rooster teeth tweet. It was a, some guy, some, a fan made My Little Pony sketches of uh, Gus, Bernie, Joel, and Jack. Oh, I must see these. What was what will, was Jack's little pony icon thingy on his <laughs> flank, his butt? I don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah, it's a it's flank. It's called a flank. Or okay, okay. Is it's, it, it would be like the it would be like the hip area of a person. Yeah, okay. it's it's a flank. Is it a so beard? Was it a beard? No, it was. I, I think it was the Achievement Hunter logo. Aww. No, because Jack's beard is regrettably now shorter. Yes. <laughs> he finally fucking cut it. It doesn't. It before it looked like a mighty re, like redwood forest growing it just, out of his it, face. It, you know what? I think he should have kept growing it because the more he kept growing it, the thinner he looked. Yeah. So he could have just like tricked us all into thinking he was like 110 pounds. Yeah, you're right. You're it'd right. be like it'd be like out to like his nipples, the beard would like that's how far down it would grow, and then we'd be like, Jack, you've lost so much weight. Jack, how you doing, man? You look good. How you doing? <laughs> like he when he had to go put a scale on, he'd have to put a little thing for his chin to rest on so the beard wouldn't affect the weight. Cause that's how big it would be. Get it, people? It's a joke, and nobody's laughing. Ha 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 ha! Oh god! Fail joke. Fail <laughs> joke. Nah, it's, I I don't like to think of Jack's beard. That's it's just it, it was getting. Uh, I don't I like gr- to think about Jack's beard. This it goes touches. back to my childhood. Okay, my dad always had this long ass beard. And okay. I love my okay. dad and everything, but uh, just to make a long story short. The, I uh, kind of didn't like him when he had a beard. I liked him when he didn't have one. I was so worried that was going to go to a dark place. No. <laughs> it was going to go to a very dark place. Where, like, I was so worried it was oh. going to be like a beard touched me inappropriately when I was 14. Uh, no. And that beard's actually. name was Jack. <laughs> and that beard's name was Jack. Jack. That was the thing. No, no, no. No, it was actually Jake <sighs> Tapilla. Jake Tapilla. <laughs> My God! Okay. How would you guys? Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I liked the pictures. At least I... Jack's pony has a beard. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's it, it Jack's has pony like a little, beard looks like, so this, awkward. It looks like ruffles. Yeah, <laughs> it looks. Weird. Okay, I, I, lo- I need to book I love and put Joel's it in pony my... name is Mark Crash. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this emaciated thing that just like does nothing but sits and watch the market. Well, look at <laughs> Gus's pony. It's like. Controlling a mouse with magic. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Tech support. Bernie's falling out of a cloud to a pit of vipers. Yeah, that's uh. What the beca- fuck? Because Bernie can fight any animal. Bernie can. Yeah, but the the look on his face is it looks like he's scared. Well, yeah, he's about in the show. That's actually supposed to be like a giant hydra. He was not prepared for this kind of anarchy. Bernie yes. Pony was just not prepared for that kind of anarchy. Nope. It doesn't look like Bernie would be prepared for any sort of mythical creature to come at him. I know. <laughs> nope. What's that, unicorn? I can take a unicorn. What is that, a phoenix? Oh shit, I'm gone. I can die. 
Yeah, I noticed Joel's also a Pegasus, <laughs> so it's like, no, wow, Joel, yeah. okay, he's gonna crash a lot. Well, I guess Get it's, it, a, it's a running for the gag. Market. He's market crash. Yeah. yeah, it's a metaphor for the market, I guess. Yeah. I I guess so. Also, because I've seen Joel play games, he does suck at them. <laughs> he he's not a game person. No, which he's is not. weird considering what he does at the company. Yeah. Which is sit in a dark room all day and listening edit, to Market Crash podcast. and work. <laughs> <laughs> DIY, DIY, what is that? No idea. Yeah, I have nothing. Uh, Dow Jones. Anyway, do it, do it yourself, YouTube. I don't know. Do it yourself, YouTube. Yeah. Probably. Wow, that's that's sucking. I would that's imagine that's DIY. DIY is up thirty three percent since last year. <laughs> Gosh, uh, let's Gold get away from the Joel rant while we still can. Gold yeah. on fire? Well, since we're talking about the company so much, let us take the moment to wish Achievement Hunter a very happy fourth birthday. Mm. Uh, we are late by the time this comes out, but we are timely when we are recording it. This will be out on Monday, so and we record on Saturday. So Saturday, this the, would mean... Saturday the 28th of July. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't, on... don't tell them the day, then they'll know. <laughs> then they'll know. <laughs> Then they can find us. They'll be like, it's Saturday. Just look for the internet traffic. <laughs> well, if they do Shut that, they can probably find the internet box, too. That's true. Well, yeah. I, I I try to get us, like, on Tuesday, so that way people have Monday to listen to the internet box, Tuesday listen to us, and then Wednesday they can listen to Rooster Teeth or Achievement on our uh, podcast. Yeah. But, nope. Listen to I, actual I always... good things. Yeah, internet yeah. box seems to be coming out on Tuesdays now. Oh, really? Yeah, they've just okay. been late, I think. They're, right. they're just being late or lazy or something. Dylon has a life and can't edit properly. Whoa. I don't mean he can't Name edit dropping. properly. <laughs> I mean he can't edit in a timely fashion because of things in life getting in the w- way. Yeah. I completely understand that, being how I edit the podcast now uh, instead of Nightmare. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Yes. Um, Which, by the way, you're welcome, people. <laughs> Um, yeah, you see all those videos that say HD? That's Kissy. Yeah, that that's me. I miss HD. <laughs> I should put them in standard def. They're just pictures. They're just pictures. It's fine. Yeah. We got very away from the topic very quickly. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did, but we we're coming away back. From it was just like, it was just like, happy birthday, Achievement Hunter. They're going to find us. <laughs> They're going to find us. They're going to find yeah, us, guys. Uh, I actually made a uh, screenshot picture that I posted on my RT uh, profile that says happy birthday achievement hunter and it's I caught it just as Jeff was about to slap Caleb oh and I was like oh damn it I was and I wanted to put under it happy birthday achievement hunter Caleb about to get slapped <laughs> no but we get a consolation prize uh, I think Jack tweeted that uh, Gavin's gonna let Jack punch him in the face for a slow-mo guys episode yes um, Yes! Uh, I'd rather see Jack get hit in the face with a water balloon. No, it has to be Gavin. It yeah. has well, to be Gavin. The water Gavin. balloon gag with Barbara was a complete, utter tease. White t-shirt, no bra? Uh, of course. Of you, course it was a tease. You're a jacket! <laughs> okay, no, okay. I, I, I want to... I don't know why I'm the one standing up for this, considering Kisty's the girl. <laughs> I'm tired up. of every male on Rooster Teeth being like, dude, Lindsay or Barbara or Kara or whoever oh my god they just need to be like naked for us because we're the fans and that's what we deserve no no i'm not saying naked but i'm like if you're gonna get hit with a water balloon and you know it wet beard don't wear a freaking rain jacket wear a poncho oh okay see i no 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 what i'm talking about is like if you go back to the siri video where yeah first video barbara's in in the shower shower, and she openly said like two days after that it came out she's like Guys, stop freaking out. I wasn't naked or topless or something. I was wearing a two top and jeans. I was just in a shower. Yeah. I was like, how can I show my shoulders but not be naked? And guys were like, such a disappointment. You have to make it up to us. And I was like, no, no, she doesn't. She doesn't have to be undressed in any kind of way, you sick fox. It's called movie magic. It's movie okay, it's, magic. Yeah, it's it's all about camera angles. You, if you hit the person from the right camera angle, they can be completely dressed, and you think they're naked. It's not that hard to do. No, it really isn't. 
And yeah, a guy can walk around with his shirt off and a girl can wear a tube top and you think, oh god, they're both naked. Nope. So we want yeah, naked that... Jack to happen? That's the no! thing, though. Is I, <laughs> god, I, really, no. I really get upset when guys are just like, dude, Barbara needs to like do a white t-shirt, no bra, water balloon <laughs> stuff. I'm like, nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. But yeah, stop, stop ragging on the women of, of Rooster Teeth needing to be in less clothing. I hate that. I appreciate that they know their own boundaries and won't cross them to try and please a bunch of perverts. I'm not yeah. saying a lot of people are perverts. I'm just saying if you go, what t-shirt, no bra, what t-shirt contest, Barbara, do it, best community manager ever. If you do, you're a fucking pervert. Uh, I'm sorry. I I love Barbara as community manager, and I'm changing topics here. Oh, it's just, on. I feel like she doesn't do a lot. I think see, Caleb thing. does more than she does. I no, mean, no, she, no. You have to keep I, I in mind. I know she does little things, but it's just, I don't notice them as much, I guess. That's the point, is Caleb is a very proactive community person, as he mm-hmm. has to be. He he has to approve the videos. He has to make news posts. He has yeah. to do the things that include his job. Barbara is actually free of those responsibilities because she works within the company to make certain things happen, like RTX. I know if you've been listening around, she talked about how many meetings she's been in for RTX, and she actually tweeted about a week after RTX, guess what I just got out of? RTX 2013 meeting. Her community <laughs> manager role is more to the point of pleasing us behind the scenes you know making small changes to things that we point out like oh wouldn't it be cool if mega 64 had a panel next year that was you know really easy to get into or a larger community hall or something like that that's what i really think barbara and faith and gus do with a lot of their time now is plan trips plan who goes to get the most joy from the community like oh my god joel's going to australia or jack's going to comic-con or something like that yeah get some get people there that people want there and a lot of other behind the scenes stuff that we really can't see and won't be able to um really acknowledge as oh my god look at all the work she did because what she does is very small things that add up to one really large thing that none of us notice that's true and a lot, and I'm sure plus, a lot of people I, are I know like, she's involved in the RT recap a lot, which yeah. didn't really start until after she was hired. So, yeah, I guess she is more... I think, didn't Miles do the first it, one? It, she, uh, yeah, I think Miles the did adult. the first one, and I think she did it the second week she was there? Possibly. Yeah, I think it, it was, was really started office. by the... Yeah. I like the one in Ray's office, where he got rubbed down from Michael. Oh, that was God. outside. <laughs> that was done outside. I know, but it was still funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. The bro Ray's love. never outside. Have you seen he's not, him? He's, he's not the New whitest York. Puerto Rican ever. <laughs> he's not in New York anymore. It's okay for him to step outside the door without getting shot. Yes. Whoa, hey. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> See, I don't have to worry about that. I live in suburbia. I, ha- I I'm glad how we, like, pull the topic from Achievement Hunter fourth birthday to getting shot in New York. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we it's talked about it. It's not even on the topic list. I know. It's not even on the topic list. We just fucking jump ship within the first 20 minutes. We're like, what? Yeah. It's what happens. Yeah. Well, speaking of jumping ship, how's the Slender video, guys? Jason you mean the Slender it. video that I had no fear of walking into it, and you were all like, oh my god, and Night Mario was being a dick? Yeah. Well, well I had you, to be. I, I have to point Dude. out in the video, I am smiling a lot because you guys keep because Nightmare keeps being a dick and cracking jokes, and it's like it got me through it. Because I know I like you guys saw when I kind of started crying was when I threw my hands yeah. over my eyes. Oh my yeah. god, it's gonna like... stalk me. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I was being a dick. Just make sure that Kissy wasn't gonna like cry herself to sleep. <laughs> I was just trying to make well, it lighthearted. I was like, dude, this thing's a fucking pussy. It doesn't even have eyes. Yeah, well, here here's what's weird. Okay. My husband goes to karaoke on Friday night. We've we've been watching the dogs and house sitting here um, since Friday morning because our in-laws left. So I'm like, yes. Permanently no, or just no like? Little, huh? They went upstate to the farm? No, they, the farm. They, they actually went down south um, for a high school reunion. And they took the annoying aunt and the brother-in-law who always jumps in like and knocks on the door when we're recording to ask if uh, he can play Portal. (laughs) 
He has um, to do that during the stream, didn't he? He actually did do that during the stream, and in fact, I cut it out of the video, but you see me go, guys, hang on, uh, someone's in my room. And of course, I step away, and you guys could see my husband sleeping behind me, but I cut that out of the video because my husband said if I left it in, he would have killed me. But, um, and of course, like, nobody in the stream could see my video of me sitting at the chair. Just all you guys saw was the gameplay. Yeah, which I had but, muted, so uh, that, I, I that had was to... way easier to make fun of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I literally chewed him out. I was like, look, I told you I had a stream. Why are you still knocking on my door every hour after every hour trying to find out if I'm playing, if I'm not doing anything? No, that's Kissy's way and... of be being nice. She probably actually just went to the door. It's like, get out. Get actually, out. no, I went into his room and I talked to him about it because I left the room literally. I muted my mic, you know, left the iPhone camera running, left my computer running. You weren't gone long. I think it was like, what, five minutes? Maybe five minutes, but I went to his room and I was like, look, you, you can't keep asking me every single day, every two hours, if you can come play Portal. And I love him to death, and I know he'll never listen to this podcast because his mom will let him listen to anything with the word fuck in it. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> we got a naughty so word in, in our clear. name. And I know my husband doesn't listen to it because he's like, why? I know you rag on me anyways. Nah, that that's a separate episode in itself. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um... That'll be Kissy's anniversary video. Oh, God. Well, since we're talking about Slender, of course, we have to talk about the stream we had, which was wildly successful by our standards? It was very yes. successful by my it, standards. Yeah. We had a very active chat. We had, uh... Um, which only had five people in it. We love those yeah, five it, people. It, among those five people. I actually stayed on after and talked to Dari a bit. Um, yeah, I didn't go to sleep because, you know, I, I had to work early in the morning. I don't remember <laughs> what I did after the stream. Yeah. Jason probably just like stared at his ceilings like, what did I just do for the past two hours? Yeah. <laughs> um, which, by the I way, I, I actually... did save the video forever, so the stream will forever be on Twitch until we delete it. Forever. And I also and have ever. it, I have a digital copy on my computer, so in case Twitch deletes it, I can always upload it to our YouTube channel. That just, that forever just made me think of the Sandlot. Well, yeah, that that that's what that from is like forever. <laughs> like no All one right. can say the word forever really slow around me without me thinking of the Sandlot. I know, just that one scene. Yeah, is perfect. I know. I love that scene. So, since we were talking about uh the stream, we should mention that we do have another one coming up on August eighth. Yes, which is... August eighth. It's every other Wednesday. Wednesday. It's every other Wednesday. And I will be posting. What games will be on a list? It'll be a poll. You go and vote. Um, and and probably... we're not doing Slender ever again. Yes, oh, no. Slender, Slender is Every forever stream. off the. It's it's <laughs> off the list forever because I can't I can't do Slender anymore. No, that'll be, um, that'll be a secret option. I'll put in the poll later. Just like secret option, Slender. <laughs> no, watch people write it in. Everybody's like, gonna I'll put comment option Slender. Option D, write in. <laughs> Everybody's not even going to touch the poll. They're just going to comment Slender. Slender. <laughs> slender, Slender, Slender. Well, no, I'll, I'll, slender. Put a, I'll put D, other C comments. C comments. And then, Everything is and Slender. And then I'll write it on a separate piece of paper and then count the votes that way. 88% Slender. Motherfucker. Fucker. God damn it, I have to play Slender for two hours. No. <laughs> well, what's nice is, is that um, I'm. You know what you do? Is you just turn on the light right and then walk to... away and go. Okay, guys, that was our two hours. Thanks for joining the JFI podcast. And they'll never vote for Slender again. They'll yeah. never do it again. <laughs> well, no, like... what, what I'll do is, like, if I play it for two hours, I know I'll know the map well enough to grab all the paper before he could get me. Or maybe you won't. That, that was literally a cold run. I didn't do any pre-play on that. That game was, like, I literally just installed it while we were streaming. That's why we had the black screen up for a while. And then I immediately jumped into the game. I didn't even look at the controls. I mean, you can see there, I didn't know that left click was picking up the paper. It was right click. Until it was too late. <laughs> well, Kissy, it was a cold run until you pissed yourself at the end. I didn't piss <laughs> myself. I cried. It looked like it was a cold, it, wet run. <laughs> it was just, ah. I don't even want to think about it because last night, um, 
you, Friday you night. The my den? husband was at karaoke. I'm home alone with the dogs. I had every fucking light on because I felt like something was behind me. <laughs> I feel I, like something's behind me not. all the time, okay? Like, right now, I just feel like there's something drilling a hole in the back of my head with its eyes. It's like, <laughs> look at me! Hey, Jason, I'll tell you what Look at me! <laughs> well, okay, here's how bad it was. I walked past the bathroom, and we, our toilet clogs in there all the time. Don't ask who does it. Um, Kiss day. Gross. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. I'm the one who always unclogs it, because I always... We taught the dogs how to poop indoors. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Poop, yeah. Well, anyways, so I keep the plunger in the bathtub because nobody takes baths. We shower. Anyways, <laughs> the plunger is standing in the tub in the middle of it. I walked by it and I could have swore I thought I saw a person. And what it was was just the plunger <laughs> sitting there. That and plunger I is a spy. <laughs> <laughs> that plunger is actually. I'm sorry. I'm just having this <laughs> middle image of like somebody really drunk. <laughs> in oh your my house God. and just like I want to take a bath and like not drunkenly realizing there's a plunger in the middle of it <laughs> and then just sits right on it since oh. it's dead center. Jason why are you talking about my Friday night like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's so horrible that, that I mental think about image is guys. disgusting Jason that I don't know why my brain goes to those places. It just does. It's like, hey, there's a plunger in the middle of the shower. That's to make sure nobody gets in the shower to take a bath. Ha <laughs> ha. Me and just like drunk people are gonna sit on that. It's gonna be shoved right up their ass. <laughs> 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 That's entertainment. <laughs> Accidental anal. Ow. <laughs> oh God! I put my headphones on just when I hear accidental ang- anal. What the <laughs> hell did I miss? We were just discussing my evil, evil thought of someone sitting on your plunger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be. A, oh, that would be so Gives funny. Gives a whole new definition to getting wood. <laughs> yes. I'm a sick fuck. I know it. Yeah, you are. Speaking of sick fucks, why is there no gif of uh, Ray doing finger guns yet? Uh... Um. I don't know no why. Why? Why does sick fuck apply to Ray doing finger guns? I don't know I don't because whenever I see somebody do finger guns, I'm thinking of really disgusting things. Okay. Why? See, anytime I see someone doing the finger guns, I immediately think back to the Yu-Gi-Oh episodes where they're pointing at Kaiba, <laughs> and like you got to come with us. And it's like don't make oh, us yeah, use our imaginary guns. <laughs> yeah, and originally in the show in the it Japanese version, if you look, they're guns. They're holding guns at him. It's like, we what are you gonna do tank. with your all-powerful finger? Poke me. <laughs> best joke. That was one of the best jokes in the original uh, episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. Was stop before we shoot you with our invisible guns. Invisible guns. Yes. <laughs> I told you we should have bought I've... the invisible tank. See, I've seen up to episode eight of the Bridge series now. Cause oh. uh, you, the minute I started watching, you wanna know what YouTube does? They removed it. But uh, I joined the Rooster Teeth uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge group. And they posted a link to Little Karibo's alternative YouTube channels. So I was, so I, I, I just haven't gotten around to it. And he's only got episode <laughs> eight up, so. And he's redoing his website. I love that awesome. you have it. I love that you said alternative. Like, it's some sort of. <laughs> it's a backup. <laughs> I don't know why I find things so giggly today. It's just like, it's it's an alternate account. An alternative account would be like, he's doing other things. Digimon abridged. Which he has done. <laughs> With no, the there's, only one, there's, there's only one episode of that. I know, but it's a really it, good episode. No, it's really not. It could have been written so much better. Yeah, but you know, it's good for what it is. <laughs> yeah. And it's not bad for one guy doing the show, I mean... No, it was a bunch of them doing that. Digimon it was a bridge. bunch of people doing the show. Oh, it's like, okay. uh... It was shady See, to me, it every... sounds like the same guy. No. Just, it's pr- you know, different voice pitches, but... It's then pretty again, much uh, me... just uh, the British abridgers were the guys who did Digimon. Yeah, it was like ah, uh, okay. it was Lil Karibo, Shady Vox, X the Dark One, etc. Masako X. Uh, was no walking? I think that's in really it? it. No, no walking's American. No, I, I know, but I I I thought she was in there. She may have been as one of the girls, but I I don't remember. It's been forever since I saw it. Yeah. Plus, Masako does a really good girl. See, I need to sit down and watch more abridged shows. It's just yeah. I like, will tell you right now. Voice my voice actors like I don't my know. My personal anything. favorite is JoJo's Bizarre Adventures of Bridge. By Antfish. By Antfish. I I cannot get over how funny that is. 
Like, literally, there is a thing where, like, one of the main character's thingies gets cut and it's bleeding. Thingies? And, and, uh, thingies? I, I can't really thingies. explain what it is without going into deep details about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so... Is it a cut? Okay. So it gets... like, the minute I hear thingies, you want to know the first thing I thought of? Cock? Somebody's dick getting chopped off. Yeah. Okay, That's not a it, it's... <laughs> they manifest, like, things that represent their identity somehow. So is one of them okay. a cock? No, so his is like... The guy I'm talking about is, um... His is called Hierophant Green. And, um... Good on tight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's it's sort of like a plant monster thingy. So, it gets cut. You know what? Fuck it. I'm already fucking up this joke. Go watch, uh... I think go, it's watch, episode... <laughs> go watch JoJo's Bizarre... Go watch episode two, minimum, of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Abridged. It's very funny. It's very well edited. It's very hilarious. Link dump. <laughs> yeah, link dump to the max. I demand everyone must watch at least the first two episodes. I demand yeah. you to do this. I also and demand Mari, no that. no being uh, lazy on the link dump this week. Oh. I wasn't lazy last week. Get first. Was there was no episode last week. What the fuck I mean, the are one, you talking I mean, the about? One a- the one Get double first. Episode twelve. You had me do the last twenty minutes because you didn't know half the shit that Jason, Mab, and I were talking about. Yeah, so Get I triple faced. It's not that hard. Search for the title of what we're talking about. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. It took me I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten minutes. I'm sorry. I did the link dump for over all of it, and you gave me like five links out of like thirty thousand. Uh, I gave you every there. link on everything we talked about. And now a special moment on the JFI podcast where you get to see behind the scenes arguments between Kisty Nocturne and Crow Knight Mari. Yeah, we, we usually do this with cricket bats at noon. <laughs> uh, I know at RTX next year, hopefully I get to go. Hopefully we all get to go. Um, I know there's going to be a showdown between the three of us with, like, Nerf bats or something. Not Nerf bats. We got to use, like, uh, we got we have to use, like, legit cricket bats. Kisty, why am I going to hit you? No, for hitting Night Mari! <laughs> No, you get you get to hit me and Hoorah. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Why do why do I have to hit Kissy? Yeah, I don't Jason like to and hit me girls. versus Hoorah and Night Mari. Let's see who wins. I'm pretty. It's sure gonna that's... be me Winner because I'm gonna fight dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna fight dirty. He's gonna fight dirty. <laughs> I love the I Nature Boy Ric Flair too, glowing just... up. You guys don't know how I fight. Exactly. Kissy, you're probably just gonna hit one of us, run away. Yeah, most likely. I'm gonna get one of you with the bat, tweak. and then while that one's distracted, I'm gonna kick the other one in the head. <laughs> That's how I fight. It's like Jason's gonna be like Neo all of a sudden. <laughs> Jason, you are the one. No fucking shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just do a showdown with like a like a Nerf Russian roulette? No, how would that work? <laughs> nerf gun with um, the Nerf pistols. Yeah, that's true. You could do it with the Nerf. Uh, they had like the Nerf revolver. I think it was the yeah, Maverick. Got, oh no, that, that nice thing's lot. a piece of shit. The the thing is a piece of shit, but it's huge. But it could work. Unfortunately, you'll know when it's loaded. That's yeah, the, you'll know what's loaded. You'd have to like cover up everything, and then that would mess up the gun. You, you know what we could do? What? Is uh. There is a Russian roulette iPhone app uh, gun. We just do beer so... fest. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> what don't they have for an app anymore? I know. Here's Suicide, They're... the app. <laughs> we just found. Like, your, anybody your, got your... a knife? There's an app for that. <laughs> Isn't there like a suicide booth finder? Uh. Like it's, it's, uh... Be... it's it's Futurama no. themed, I assume, and they like figured out where every suicide yeah. booth in New New York is, and. and... <laughs> Something no, like that. I mean, that like, would seriously, be awesome. If you look like at like uh, at the suicide booths, it said since two thousand five. Oh See, wow! My husband's favorite thing to say to Siri is, uh, "I need to hide a dead body," <laughs> and I always give him this look of like, "You are raising some fucking red flags every time you say that." And he goes, "Well, it's not getting reported." I'm like, Apple gets it. Yeah, well, Apple. I Apple. Said, it's just gets to make all the Siri say ask. something or show something weird, and it's like. <laughs> He follows a lot of the Apple hackers, so... Siri, do you know where to find women crushing apples with their thighs while jerking off a donkey? Let me do a Google search for you. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what she'll come up with, is let me do a Google search, or um, 
He better make sure he does. He isn't logged in with his Google account, man. That thing will stay there forever. He'll type in <laughs> A. It'll be apples it. being crushed by women while jerking off donkeys. Kissy came to me like right before the podcast, and she's like, "I'm gonna be so afraid of stuff that people would see in my Google history." Yeah, cause see, um, Nightmare asked me to make him a gay avatar, Woo-hoo-hoo. which we are viewing right now via Skype. No, you are viewing right now via Skype. And I actually have the podcast now, notes I... over it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, because I've mentioned it, I have to put it into the video, but... Yes, you like, do. Give, give me the gayest avatar ever. I was like, okay, I'll go find some pictures. So I'm typing things like, gay couples kissing, gay men, hot, sexy men with too many abs. I mean, I'm doing all these searches. Hot, sexy My husband was asleep abs? behind me the whole time. And I could hear him giggling, and I turn around, and he's like, he's dead asleep. And I'm like, okay, I know you weren't waking up, because, like, he has his back to me. But I can still hear him giggling, and it's like, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> My god, he is the computer. He is the, he is the troll. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, he runs the internet through his computer server. Through so his I, brain? I have to ask, I have to ask that, Mario, what caused this descent into this? Because you almost, like, begged us earlier in the week to convince you not to go see Magic Mike. Which, what do you think, Jason? It was Magic which, Mike. Which, of course, we were just like, <laughs> dude, you're choosing to go see Magic Mike. Of course we're not going to talk you out of it, because that's hilarious to us. And then it's just, like, the <laughs> next day, it's like, hey, everybody, check out all these yaoi pictures I decided to upload. Aren't they awesome? Oh, God. And I was like, dude, yes, what, they are. what did Magic Mike <sighs> do to you? And he's just like, I nothing. By the way, check out this dude in stockings dressed up like a female nurse making out with this dude. Oh, let me like that. No. <laughs> uh, no. no. That's gonna Thank get late. God, I had to say that out loud, didn't I? <laughs> yes. It's what the late. fuck is uh, wrong with me? I have to censor the image. Uh, no, you don't. There was no nudity in it. Oh, uh, God. You know what? It'll be just a big black box. Chick-fil-A <laughs> is gonna hate us. Uh, Google's gonna love me. <laughs> Google's gonna be like, what? Worst, Google's gonna make love to me. <laughs> you, you type in D, it's like dudes without shirts on that have too many abs and may or may not be gay. Click. <laughs> yeah, well, here, here's what's funny is I've actually, tur- I tur- I logged myself out of Google, so good I think I'm girl. good for the moment good until my husband girl. checks the search what logs. The hell you you know, looking? when there's certain things that I don't want to admit that I've searched to, I will log out of Google. Like, Kristen Stewart <laughs> cheating on Robert Pattinson. I was like, okay, that's interesting. I have to find out about this. And then I realized I'm logged into Gmail and I was like, nope, nope. I'm not going to do this now. <laughs> Cl- clicked out of it and now, just was like... You know what I should do? I should log in and do the Google searches on Nightmare's YouTube account. Since I upload the video. Don't do that, please. For the love of God, don't do that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I Actually, make I don't think note. I do any Google searches while I'm on that. I think I'm just on. I think I'm just on YouTube whenever I. Do I know that. I have I have accidentally left you logged in and done a couple Google searches. I know. Oh, Jesse, I what have. have you been looking at? No, it's not. It's nothing major. Just like local. Local searches. It's nothing. Ma- it's nothing major. I may have seen like a lot of pictures of uh, Jack Harkness and the Doctor making up. That's I... it. <laughs> no. Which I oh, I need to find that Doctor Who video of him running in a hallway. There, it's just a funny one. And it's just like ah, I can't. Why find is my it Twitter anymore. not letting me upload this image? Probably because it's too fucking big. Because God <laughs> loves us and not God you. doesn't love you. God apparently loves me more than you. Giggity! It won't let me in. God, it's so big. <laughs> no, I think I don't think it's uploading because I the max size is 700k and I think it's one. Okay. Yeah, that'd probably be it. See, I upload pictures through my iPhone because it automatically converts them. Which uh, apparently I heard recently that Apple is looking into buying Twitter. Oh God. My yeah. God. No. This seriously, comes, sit uh, and think about that for a minute. Yeah, think about it. I mean, look at how popular Twitter is. Apple just swooping and going, hey, we'll buy you. Mine now. We can buy you. Yeah. Mine now and, uh, hello, iPhone exclusive Twitter app that actually works. Yeah, say so goodbye to TweetDeck and all these other fun things. It's yeah. Gonna be download your OSX Twitter application through the Mac Apple Store. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, uh-huh. Now you're beginning to get it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. See, just I, the end, like, I kind of oh. like that idea, though, because that means, like, I kind of like it, and at the same time, I don't. I don't like it for the fact that that means the um, Apple jailbreakers for, like, the iDevices, they have nowhere to tweet and link their stuff for many people to have access to other than their websites. Facebook! Fuck Facebook, Facebook fucking sucks. Facebook is dying, in my opinion. Facebook, Facebook is dying. It's become Reddit. It's become fucking Reddit. Not, like, I log into my Facebook, and yes, I have a fucking Facebook, and no, nobody can add me as friends. I'm going to state that right now, because that's it's. I have it for family use and keeping contact with relatives out of state. Uh, to find Kissy on Facebook, you type in hoorah93. <laughs> At Facebook.com. At Facebook.com. Please send yes. all emails to that forwarding address. <laughs> you know, I don't What's even think he's been... They... I love how when I do that voice, I love how I do that voice, I get so very close to my microphone and I'm very so, like, quiet. Like, hello and welcome to the JFI podcast. Today we're going to talk about, um, Night Murray's yaoi obsession after he went to Magic Mike. Why Gisty is so afraid of the Slender and, uh, Jason may talk some Dark Nights and spoil the free podcast today on JFI. We're just gonna like talk like this for the whole fucking time. We're well, gonna talk like this for the whole fucking time! What? <laughs> That's what I said! <laughs> I just get like super quiet. It's like I'm a very timid person announcing golf. It's like, okay, Tiger Woods coming up to the green. He looks like he's got a four maybe five foot putt ahead of him. He's pulling out the uh, putter. He, uh, he isn't really gonna use the putter. That that, that's that's the one he uh, he uh, his wife beat him with, which uh, you can still tell because there's a little bit of blood there on the edge. The uh, caddy may get talked to later for not cleaning that off, but right now he's just gonna have to make do with it and see if it's gonna uh, affect him. <laughs> <It is. laughs> I could do something for that voice yeah, all day. You could, like really, like. Golf announcers reading Fifty oh, Shades Oh, please of don't. Please and, uh, don't. He, f- oh, he God, found please. some baby oil and asked very politely to rub it on my behind, but um, I had to decline because I wasn't used Release to her inner goddess. Release her inner goddess. <laughs> <laughs> and as I release my inner goddess. <laughs> I actually saw the episode of The Nostalgic Critic where they read Fifty Shades of Grey with Team Four Star at the end. Oh, there's there's a whole YouTube video where they do like for like an hour. Oh That's, yeah, I know. It's just it's great. I, I caught that. I was just going through Blip TV one day because like someone linked, hey, if you want you know access to every Rooster Teeth production, that's you know marketing. Here you go, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'll take a look at this. I want to see if I can find any sneak peeks. And of course, I didn't bookmark it like an idiot. But uh, I, you know, I logged in and I looked and it kept pulling up the nostalgic critic and i was like fine i'll watch it then i like skipped to the end i don't even remember what movie it was uh baby geniuses 2 oh god ah, i don't watch that Jesus. one don't it's rough it's rough yeah like he has baby hit or miss Geniuses episodes. One was that funny is a, that is a big miss episode okay yeah yeah sometimes we have a movie no that is a big hit miss episode because the movie's so bad that you can't make fun of it no that's true there are movies like that my yes. god. Yes. My god, yes. Yeah, that's what Rift Tracks was invented for. <laughs> yeah. Mystery Science Theater 3000, save us. Yes. I love those guys. They're See, that's awesome. the thing about the Nostalgia Critic is, compared to a lot of the other That Guy With The Glasses Channel Awesome people, there mm-hmm. are those that do straight comedy, and then there are those who do actual analysis and be funny at the same time. And people it's that I'm talking easy. about are like the Nostalgia Chick, uh, Linkara, uh, Obscurus Lupa does it sometimes, Jesse Otaku, Nash. A lot of those guys, guys like that, they will take an analytical look and make fun of it at the same time. But the Nostalgia Critic and Phalus and Spoonie, I know he's not part of the group anymore, but Spoonie, Rest they would... Yeah. They would just, like, do nothing but how can I make this funny? And then when something can't be funny, they their episodes completely fail. Yeah. And people were just, Because it's not like, entertaining. It's not entertaining, and that's all they're trying to be is entertaining, whereas I feel smarter when I watch an episode of The Nostalgia Chick more than I do The Nostalgia Critic. Mm. 
I don't know, that may be just me personally. I don't, I've really gotten into, like, they've gotten into my head, and I, I think it's a mix of, like, watching Channel Awesome and being in film school or having been in film school that I just, like, I can't sit and just enjoy a movie. I have to rip it apart while I'm watching it. See, I... For years, like, my English teachers were like, oh, I'm going to kill a movie for you. Because you know the whole hero story thing. Mm-hmm. Um, my, my teachers were always like, oh, I'm going to ruin movies for you. You're not going to be able to watch a movie without having this kind of train of thought of the hero story. And going, oh, that character represents this and represents that. It will ruin movies for you. I go to the movie, like, the very next day and I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, a lot of people can, like, disconnect their mind and do it that way. I'll tell you yeah. where I did it, and this is actually just me trying to trend into the next topic, which is uh, at the Dark Knight. Yes. I, I am going to talk, and <laughs> I am going to try to be as spoiler-free as possible. There are several things that I don't like about the Dark Knight, and if you're watching pretty much any TV show or anything, they're all going to be like, oh my god, the Dark Knight was one of the best movies ever. Christopher Nolan nailed the trilogy. No, he didn't. There are severe, severe gaps in this thing. Was his back really? broken? Um, that's actually, a spoiler. No, they, don't that pl- they don't go with that plot line. Oh. No, that's a really well-known plot line in Batman called Nightfall. Yep. Uh, where Bane comes and, like, Fucks hires everything. a bunch of the supervillains and just keeps throwing them at Batman, and once he's so tired that he really can't defend himself that way, Bane goes in and just snaps his back. It was one of the biggest crippled. things that happened in Batman's storyline. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, but like it's just a to year or two. Do it in the movie. It it wouldn't make sense to me. It's like why? Well, actually, it would have because of the trailer where they were talking with Catwoman, and she's like, "Oh, you've given them everything," and he's like, "Not everything, not yet." You know that that would have been, you know, his final sacrifice would have been oh my god i'm just gonna fight this guy and you know i'm gonna get hurt so badly that i can't be batman anymore and that's my final sacrifice to the city to save it you know that's where i thought the movie was going but nope really this movie should not be called the dark knight rises because a batman isn't in a lot of it and b it's really more about gotham city than it is about batman yeah, that, it is. I, I hear that they want, like, sorry to interrupt you, Jason. That's fine. But I've heard, like, a ton of people say that it should have been called Gotham City and not Dark Knight. Yeah, it could have been called Gotham Rises, and it would have been a far better appropriate yeah. uh, movie name. Because the Dark Knight Rises? Uh-uh, no, he doesn't. He falls? He, 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 no, he pretty much stays level. <laughs> Way to go, Batman. He does, not go, yeah. he does not go up or down. He just kind of, like, is. I think it's... And... Sorry. Continue. <laughs> it's it's. There's a lot of factors in the movie that piss me off. The first one is, and this is one that people have talked about for a long time, so this is in no way a spoiler, is Bane's voice. Yes. Even in the if trailers, he... he's hard to understand. He's hard to understand in the trailers, and so they redid all his audio. <laughs> now he sounds like Sean Connery trying to do a Bane impression. Wow. See, I, I caught, like, a small five-second soundbite of Bane's voice from the movie. Because, mm-hmm. like, it slipped into a trailer or something or an advertisement. Yeah. And I wasn't impressed. No. Really, if it sounds like um that, that guy from uh, SNL who was doing the Sean Connery thing for Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, That's what the voice that. sounds like throughout the entire time. Only he he isn't trying to be funny. Uh-huh. And every time he says a line that's supposed to be really menacing and really dark and very apropos for the character, you're just like, why isn't that funny? Why? Just, why and did... the same... <laughs> Go ahead. Christian Bale. It's been three damn movies now. Christopher Nolan has not said, Bale, quit doing the gravelly voice. It fucking sucks. People are making fun of it. No. He does the gravelly, cancer Batman voice throughout the whole damn movie. Ugh. And it pisses me off. See, that's the thing. There is a hard line that has never been crossed since two men did it. Mm-hmm. And that is Adam West and Michael Keaton. Yes. Adam West, for the time, was an amazing Batman and an amazing Bruce Wayne. Mm. Michael Keaton pulled off being a very intimidating, dark Batman and a very socialite very 
boisterous Bruce Wayne. He had that every... charisma. Yeah, he had the charisma. Every other Batman, in my opinion, has not reached the level where they can both be Batman and Bruce Wayne. No, it... Al Kilmer, really good Bruce Wayne. Yes. George Clooney, really good Bruce Wayne. Christian Bale, really good Bruce Wayne, because he can be the rich dick nine-tenths of the time. He's mm-hmm. a horrible Batman because even in the suit, his voice isn't imposing. Yeah. You have to have an imposing... That's why uh, Kevin Connery is a great animated Batman. He is the animated Batman. He is, he is the, the animated only Batman. animated Batman. No, no, no. There have been there are several more. others. There are more, but he's I, I know, the but to me, Batman. he is the only one in my universe. He is the epitome of what Batman should be. Yeah. Because he can pull off that, oh, hey, I'm Bruce Wayne, how you doing? I'm rich, successful, own a company, blah, 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 I'm a playboy, and then I am the vengeance, I am the knight, you know. He can easily slip the voice into one of the two roles. Bale can't do that, and it's been one of the big downsides of this movie is, yeah, he's a great actor. Well, I'm not even going to say a great actor, he's a good actor, but he just can't fill the role, and it does not become more evident than it does in The Dark Knight Rises. I, I'm i sorry for people who haven't seen it yet and are just like, I want to go see it. Go see it. You may have a completely different opinion than me, because I can literally go on for an hour and a half about how much I didn't like this movie. How this movie did not aspire to what it could have been. And I do attribute some of that to Heath Ledger's untimely death. I feel that there was a role for the Joker in this movie that just wasn't addressed. Yeah. Because um, he was he was alive at the end of the last movie. Yeah, he was so it jail. makes sense that the Joker would make a reappearance in the third one, but... Right. You know, yeah. They, I don't they think, have a prime uh, spot in the movie. To me, there's only two Jokers in the world, and that has to be Jack Mark Nicholson. Mark Hamill and Heath Ledger? No, Mark Hamill did not do Joker... Are you kidding me? Well, I meant animated Joker, but I meant like live action Jokers. Oh. I'm sorry, I should have specified. Live action Jokers. Obviously, Jack Nicholson. Jack Heath Nicholson. Ledger gave him a run for his money. I'm sorry, but, you know, to me, they are both great Jokers. Like, I actually don't think that uh, Jack Nicholson's character as it was written in that Batman movie was the Joker. Because it doesn't feel like the Joker. I know that's a very weird sentiment. No, it, sentiment, I completely but... agree with you because it was um, shoot, Tim Burton it, Tim Burton did those movies. He did, yeah, he uh, did Batman and movies. Batman Returns. Batman Returns. And you know, it's just if I, I know where you're coming from on how it didn't feel quite like Joker. Like it was more mobster type. Yeah. I'm trying to he think who Joker was the monster was great. Batman. Yeah. That's the thing about that's why Heath Ledger's Joker felt like the Joker because the first thing you see him do is the magic trick. And when it's that I'll make this dark, pencil disappear. Yeah, I'll make this pencil disappear. When you see that, that is the twisted humor of the Joker. I love that. That humor. is him going, This is the epitome of me. I am this horrible individual who finds the darkest humor in the darkest places, and there's nothing you can do to stray me from that. But that was the best joke in that movie. It was, mm-hmm. but that's the Joker. That's that's a really good, very contained explanation of the If you ever want to say, if anyone ever says, why, why is the Joker so insane, literally show them that clip and go, that's why. Bitch, what? Because he's fucking insane. And he finds humor in the darkest of dark places. I mean, really, if you read The Killing Joke... Oh, God. The best, oh. the best line in the book is... There are two really good lines from the Joker in that one. The first one is um, when he walks to the door and Barbara Gordon answers it. And then he shoots her right in the stomach and it goes out through her spine. His immediate thought and what he says to Commissioner Gordon is... Shame about that. It was in such good condition. Now it has a broken spine. It's completely useless. And he was talking about a book. But it conveyed everything about her. Yeah. And then later, when Batman is tracking him down, uh, the Joker is talking to him through a PA system. 
and he's trying to make the Joker remember what is the uh, what is his true identity, and he keeps telling all these different stories to Batman, much like Heath Ledger did about his scars, and he goes, Batman says, which one's the truth? And he goes, oh, hell, I don't know. I always like everything to be multiple choice. And I was just like, that's genius Joker writing right there, because that's both funny and truthful and sick and sadistic almost at the same time because every story is so dark that's the mm-hmm. that's the one thing i love the most about the joker is that there is no canon backstory for him yeah there is no canon yeah. backstory i i'm kind of excited to see him make his return to comics because um oh yeah he's been out for a bit yeah he's been out for about a year mm-hmm. and uh they're bringing him back and what they did at the end of it was they actually he went to another supervillain who had this weird fetish about like cutting off people's faces and replacing them with something so he actually had the guy cut off his face so he's not going to be the iconic joker face anymore damn it's like face off yeah he's not gonna have the white face and the red lips and the green hair anymore oh man yeah he's gonna be something completely different and something completely horrible and i can't wait to see what that is (laughs) But yeah, I I really can't go on about what The Dark Knight Rises is without spoiling a few things. Let me just say... Oh, did he go to uh, Hush? To get huh? his, did he go to Hush to get, his fi- to get his face fixed? No, Hush is dead. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that. Yeah. No, Hush, Hush died. Hush is a good villain. Um, Hush was a great villain. Um, if anyone wants to read it, just go find uh, the Batman collection for Hush. It is in a collected trade paperback. You can probably find it on Amazon. You can probably find but... it in graphic novel form by now. Yeah, too. Yeah, you can find yeah. it in graphic novel form. There's actually a uh, um, Batman Beyond story. They continued it in comic books called Hush Beyond, and that, that has a really good story to it, too. Oh, is that the thing when they show uh, Damien becoming uh, Bruce is equivalent in the show? No. Huh. I thought... Oh, yeah, that's Batman 500. My bad. No. Um, so, The Dark Knight Rises, if, if I have to say one thing about it, it's... It's a very hit or miss movie in a lot of places. Uh, the tone, the just everything about it. Because at some point you get, it starts off like every good Batman should. It starts off with a mystery, and the more you unravel the mystery, the more you're just like, this just got less interesting the more it goes on. Because really, maybe forty five min- minutes into a two hour forty five minutes movie, you've solved the mystery. There's nothing left. The butler did it. The... <laughs> it was Alfred the whole time. It was Alfred the whole time. He was really Rachel Ghoul. Oh my god, mind blown. No. <laughs> mind blown and fucked. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, useful and yet useless cameos in this movie. Yeah. Was Rachel Ghoul um, one of them? Huh? Was Rach one of them? Probably no, not. Uh, Bruce is dead. Yeah, he he Lazarus died Pitt. in the train. At the... No, no, no. They, they, that's the he, thing. He is... didn't make it back to his Lazarus pit. They bring him back from the dead in the Lazarus pit. I know, but that's the thing. Christopher Nolan does not follow... That's another thing I like yeah. and don't like about Christopher Nolan. He does not follow established Batman canon. There is no such thing as the Lazarus pit in the Batman universe. The Batman Nolan universe. In the Nolan universe, Bane is not... Uh, super powered by venom toxin that helps increase his muscle size. He's just a really big dude who's really, really strong. There is no chemical enhancement to him. Uh, his face mask has a very practical use. It isn't like what it was in the movie or in, in the animated series or the comics where it has a just aesthetic look. It's actually physically useful to him. So there was no yeah. way that Rachel Gould was coming back. He was dead as of Batman Begins. Oh, okay. You know, sp- spoiler for that movie. <laughs> spoiler spoiler for comics, too. Rachel Al can come back from the dead. A lot. Well, <laughs> a lot. All you have to do is play Arkham City to know that Rachel Al comes back. Whoa, spoiler. Rachel Al in Arkham City. Well, he's part of the storyline, so yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, but like there. late storyline. Well, he's it's, still a major player in it. The game is over a year old. I think I can get away with spoiling it a little bit. Although, um, Mark Hamill's announcement about the Joker kind of saddened me a bit about how he said that was the last time he was ever going to play Joker. 
Yeah, that and made then, me really cry. But here's what's funny. On Twitter, he goes, fans are petitioning to have me play Joker one more time. And he goes, I'll do it if offered the part. So, because nice. apparently they're making another Joker animated movie. Right. Well, actually, I think they may get him for um, the new Rocksteady game that they're doing, which is a prequel to uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, oh. which actually uh, will involve uh, Batman and the Justice League. So they may actually have the Justice League versus the Injustice League, which the Joker has always been a major player in. Yes. Which... Uh, there was, like, the... That's, like, one of the greatest uh, comic book storylines I can think of is Emperor Joker. Emperor jo- Oh, my God, Emperor Joker. That's so great. It was so good. They actually did that for Batman, The Brave and the Bold. They had an episode called Emperor Joker that followed that storyline. Oh, my God. So it good. is so dark. <laughs> I am so out of the loop on comics. I need to get back into Well, the story about again. Emperor Joker is... Um, I can never say that Superman villain's name. Mr. Mixelplick. Yeah, Mr. Mixelplick. Oh, he's I from... know Mixelplick. Yeah, he steals Mixelplick's powers and bends oh. reality to his whim. Oh! Yeah. And he continuously kills oh. Batman. That's and bad. And he has, he's like, Batman on a continuous loop of death and rebirth. Wow. Yeah. That is the whole point of Emperor Joker, is the Joker finally gets to kill Batman, and once he does, he's like, that was fun, let's do it again. And, and again. again. Everyone's like, and again. And yeah, again. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's like, um, you can't, you just killed him. And he's like, bitch, I have my, I have reality-altering powers. Batman's alive again! Oh shit, Batman's Not alive again. again. Anvil drops on his head. Batman's yeah. dead again. <laughs> and it's all a joke the yeah. biggest joke <laughs> i think like if after the end of that they um somebody goes back and erases batman's memory of all that time because um dying a lot makes almost, you crazy yeah, yeah he almost went insane from dying so much and like superman had somebody erase his memory of all the timeline of emperor joker it's probably satana probably yeah because she does it to everybody <laughs> she does it to everybody it's like, you that was don't really bad remember sex anything forget anything yeah so yeah that that's my uh semi non-spoilerish dark knight rises when we when people have time to go see it i may go back into it on why i really really didn't like it translation yeah, it if the... nightmare and i see it within the next three weeks <laughs> yeah yep that that's when we'll do a spoiler cast on it um yeah. i don't know when i'm gonna be able to because you know it will be a long spoiler cast. Have... let me tell you i have a laundry list of shit to put up with <laughs> yeah I have two movie tickets to any movie I want to see, and I haven't spent them because my husband and I are saving them for The Hobbit, which air, which comes out on his birthday, so oh. that's that's why I haven't used my two free movie tickets yet. Well, on the plus side, uh, Nolan hates 3D, so it's only a 2D movie. Thank, Thank you, Christ. God. I'm so sick of 3D movies. They're just... Every movie now has to be 3D. I can understand what the the animated movies, you know, the Pixar movies being 3D because those mm-hmm. it it hei- heightens the definition of it. Like you could see more than what you're supposed to. But when it comes to like <laughs> But when it's so bots on 3D. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nightmare. Oh, don't worry. I have this. I probably have the exact same soapbox. Sent to me is like, <laughs> play soapbox under Kiss Go. Go. <laughs> no, I just soapbox. I hate I hate the three D movies that are I hate the movies that aren't actually made for three D being made in three D and sold as a three D movie. I understand the high quality definition of it, but please stop the no, post production three no, no. D bullshit and just that... film it in two D and do. If it's supposed to be 2D, keep it 2D. Don't make it 3D if it doesn't have to be 3D. You know, why stop at 3Ds? Let's go with 4Ds. 4Ds time, dude. Don't fuck with 4D. Okay, fine. Let's go with 6Ds. We'll go past this dimension into another one. Oh, God. <laughs> See, don't, don't get me started on Doctor Who talk here, okay? I just started Season 5 with my friend Tora. Oh, you just started? I thought you watched it already. I've watched it all... I've watched every episode when it was airing. But hey. Tora just got into Doctor Who and uh she's just started season five last night. Is she drooling over Jack 
over Jack already? Oh, she was drooling over Jack's Jack been gone way, for way a long back. Time. Season five is the eleventh Doctor. Yeah, it's Matt Smith. Oh yeah, I, I she recently just, just started. She Torch just Wars. met Matt and Matt and uh, Fish Fingers and Custard. Yum. <laughs> but I, they were watching it last. Uh, my husband and her were watching the first episode last night, and I passed out. And according to her, this morning, uh, they didn't get past that. I guess because my husband decided to wait for me to wake up, and I never did. I went to sleep. I was I was gone. Because I tried to watch it with them. Oh, by the way, fuck Jenny. Fuck Jenny. Fuck Jenny. Completely upon. You know what? You want to know what's funny? Oh. Every time... You know how in season four... Sorry for those who are who haven't seen season four of Doctor Who. Uh, end of time. You know how the Doctor like is constantly having flashbacks to his yeah. previous companions and stuff? Every time Jenny showed up on the screen, Tora would be like, Oh! oh Jenny! Because the Doctor doesn't know she's alive. Spoiler for the Doctor's daughter ending. But, um... It was just like... I just kept going, shaking my head going... Ugh. Moffat already said he's never going to use Jenny. He's never going to put her in unless... Uh, it's like for a special. But I found out through my husband... All of season 7 has been leaked. Oh, don't, don't. No. I, I kid you not. Um... And here's how it's been leaked. People would go to the sites where they're shooting and filming and sit there with um, with laser mics and pick up all the dialogue oh, so no. they know everything that's happening. Now, here's the thing, though, is, is that the finale, um, mid-season finale six, there were six different scripts. They filmed the ending six different ways, and only one of those scripts were real. Whoa. That's how they got around it. The wow. only These guys are Doctor smart, Who it? episode that has not been leaked and nobody knows anything about is the 50th anniversary, which should be next year. Huh. Yeah. The 50th anniversary. And so far, rumor mill has it that we will have David Tennant back. Woohoo! We will not have Christopher Eccleston, unfortunately. Boo. Mm. Well, Christopher Eccleston literally said, I will never play the Doctor again. I hated that I only played the doctor because it was a challenge. Oh, and I it's see. it's in truth that's how he operates. That's how that actor operates. Christopher Eccleston will only take roles that are challenging for him. He didn't. He felt the most challenging he could ever get is the doctor. And if you notice, he hasn't been in much after that. Mm. Except GI Joe. That yeah, that's about it. And you know, playing that role was actually pretty good, and I thought it was awesome. I thought it was cool. I thought cool. it was, I thought it was cool. Even though yeah, David Tennant stole my heart. Gosh. Yeah, don't start me drooling here already. That man. <laughs> Not even. I like how this went from a talk about 3D into uh, Doctor Who really, really easily. Very easily. Because <laughs> I actually had thoughts on 3D, and now I can't circle back to get it, because we're just so fucking far gone. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Yes, hey. yes. He's not even a man. He's a, he's an Adonis. I'm Do drooling. I, I gotta stop this. <laughs> We need a moment with we need a moment with David Tennant and, and uh, John Bartman. <sighs> See, I know John's married. That that's the kicker for me. That's why I'm not super. It's not on cheating Jack. if it's a, it's not cheating if it's a god. It's not cheating if it's, it's a god. god. <laughs> it's it's not cheating if it's the face of Bo. Yeah, Ooh, that. spoiler Ooh, for that. season three. <laughs> Ooh, spoiler. Oh shit. Oh. Bleep that. Bleep that right now. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. I won't. Bo it's... Boys and girls and children of all ages. <laughs> I think it's time to wrap this up because uh, Kisty and Nightmare are starting to do naughty things with themselves at the thought of David Tennant. Okay, we'll stop. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's, right. it's about that time for us to wrap up. All right, let's wrap it up. Say fuck it. We're out of here. <laughs> Say goodbye to the I'm nice saying, people. I'm saying fuck it. We're out of here. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck it! Get the fuck out of here!